Hello there YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be going through the bet option and user bet methods. Um, if we have time I'll go through the help method quickly as well. So basically what we want to do with a bet option is we want to print out on screen um, saying please uh, place, well please state which side you would like to pick. Spelling is bad. Like to pick, and then I just want to go to a new line and say, Remember, there are only six sides to a dice. Okay, and then whatever they put in, um, I want to store in the variable that I got up here called bet option. So I'm going to go bet option is equal to scan dot next int okay um, and then I want to do an if statement um, so I just want to check if um, how much money they have um, basically I'll show you what I mean now so basically if the sorry I, I want to check the bet option not the um, uh, not how much money they have if the bet option is greater than or equal to seven because they're only six sides of a dice then I want them to follow out this instruction over there else what I want them to do is I want them to do something else so basically what I want to do over here is I want to print out um, that is not a valid option and I want to restart the process so I'm gonna call the money class I mean method sorry else if everything's fine and they selected between one and six I want to go to the next method which is user bet okay so now we're done with the um, bet option method now we're going into the user bet method so what I want to um, use this method for is I want to print out um, how much would you like to bet and then um, in the bet money variable that will be equal to um, scan dot next int uh, so whatever they type in would be in the get money variable um, but now we need to run a check if um, or we need to run an if else statement to check if um, they've actually got enough money for what they want to bet so if bet money is greater than money for example um, then I want to print out you don't have enough and I want to call the method um, get user uh, sorry user bit um, not a capital U I want to call the method user bit again to restart this process else um, if money is equal to zero so they don't have any money in the account they've spent it all I want to print out um, sorry you have lost all your money um, and then I, w I don't want to do anything after that because then we'll stop the program basically um, it won't stop it it won't run any um, it won't run anything after that basically and uh, finally in the bottom one here um, this is if everything's okay if they've uh, selected uh, a number of the dice that is possible to select they have bet money that they do have um, then we want to set the money variable to whatever the money was minus the bet money uh, so minus what they bet and then what we want to do is we want to print it out saying you bet rand uh, plus um, uh, plus the bet money uh, on this game and then what we want to do is we actually want to run we want to run the game so I'm going to call a method called game I know we haven't made it yet um, I will make that in the last tutorial um, 
and yeah so I'll make the game method in the next tutorial and that's all we have time for today so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, comment rate and subscribe see you next time